Via simple and non-manipulative mathematics, we can transform Einstein's energy equation, E equals mc squared, into the one true equation for electrical energy. From E equals mc squared, we go to E equals mass times velocity squared, which goes to E equals mass times acceleration times time squared, then to E equals mass times A times Z squared, and finally we get energy equals mass times acceleration squared times time squared. And now from the one true electrical energy equation, E equals QA squared Z squared, and, it, and all its variations, we get each and every electrical unit, Watt, Coulomb, Volt, Amp, Weber, Farad, Electrical Field, Ohm, Siemen, Henry, Tesla, Electrical Mass, Acceleration, and Time. And you can check under Wikipedia, physical units, I think it's under. Each and every one of these units are in complete union with all SI units. And now here we're using a simple cube because electricity is three-dimensional. And to prove this, if we divide the one equation for electricity, Q square, QA squared, Z squared, if we divide that by one dimension, that will then give us electricity moving over two dimensions. And so if we divide QA squared, Z squared by AZ squared, which is distance, that will then give us electricity flowing over this cube, but only flowing over a side of the cube, or area. Thus, QA squared Z squared divided by a single dimension, which is distance, or AZ squared, gives us QA, which is the electrical unit for the Coulomb. So, even though electricity is flowing over this three-dimensional cube in the form of QA squared Z squared, the electricity that is only on one side of the cube, or covering an area, that portion of the electricity is only flowing in the form of QA, which is charge. So the electricity in total flowing over the cube is QA squared Z squared, however, only on the one side, it exists in the form of charge, or the Coulomb. And then we can see on the left-hand side of the image there, the, if we were to only look at one segment of the cube, which is the form of distance, that the electricity flowing in that one dimension of distance is flowing in the form of the farad, which is Q over Z squared. And so Q A squared Z squared divided by two dimensions, which is area, or a squared z to the fourth, gives us electricity moving in one dimension, or moving along the segment of the 
of the cube. And that form of electricity is the farad, q over z squared. When we talk about electricity flowing over the three-dimensional cube, to give us a better understanding or perspective on this, if we look at this diagram, we can see that the ether of space surrounds the Earth. And energy is also in the form of pressure times volume. So we can see here as the volume of electrical space surrounds the Earth and increases. We can see the, vol the V, the volume, increasing. Then we can also see that the pressure of that electrical space decreases as you move out into space. And that decrease in, in pressure is exactly in keeping with the square law decrease of gravity. And so once again, electricity is flowing over this three-dimensional cube. And as it flows over the entire cube, it's in the form of QA squared Z squared. At that same time, flowing only over one side of the cube, the electricity is in the form of the Coulomb, or QA. And we can also see that QA divided by the area of that side gives us electrical pressure. And that same three-dimensional electricity flowing over the cube, flowing only in the one-dimensional direc one direction of the segment of the cube, flows in the form of the farad, which is q over z squared. And q over z squared divided by distance also gives us the pressure of electricity. And what's interesting is that the farad is known as the ability to hold a charge. And so we can see that if the distance of the farad increases, the entire cube increases, which gives us an, an increase in each of the sides, and thus an increase in the charge, which is the Coulomb. And so the farad is giving us the increased ability for the Coulomb to exist. Now let's have a look at the ohm, which is known as the, the resistance to electrical flow. As the electricity is flowing over the entire cube, it's the mass of the cube that is causing the resistance against the flow of those electrons. And the ohm, z cubed over q, is equal to distance divided by the amp or area divided by power. The area divided by power is the two-dimensional form of the ohm, and the one-dimensional form is distance divided by the amp. And so we can see that as an amp of charge is flowing in a one-dimensional form of the segment, we can see that it's the distance of that segment that is causing the resistance against that one-dimensional flow of the charge, or the amp. Also regarding the ohm, it's proven that resistance is proportional to the temperature
temperature of the conductor and we can see here that the ohm z cubed over q is exactly equal to volume divided by electricity times temperature. So this also shows us how the ohm is directly proportional to the temperature of the conductor. There are three levels that surround the earth. The first is the ocean of water. The second is the ocean of the earth's atmosphere. And the third and outermost is the ocean of electrical mass that surrounds the earth or space. And we can see here that if you were at the bottom of the ocean and you filled a beach ball with air, the pressure surrounding that beach ball would be extreme. And if you were to puncture that beach ball with a nail, the ocean then collapsing that beach ball would be similar to a lightning strike. That same beach ball at the bottom of the ocean of electrical mass that surrounds the earth is an exact replica of all forms of electricity generated on the earth. Whether it's the generators at the bottom of the Hoover Dam or you plugging in your iPad, any electrical voltage difference, potential difference, is that beach ball. It's the displacement of the ocean of electrical mass. And then when you connect the any positive and negative terminal, that beach ball is collapsing, the electrical mass is moving back to where it once was, creating an electrical current. And this is exactly what Albert Einstein was searching for the last 30 years of his life, how gravity is connected to energy. The ocean of electrical mass surrounding the Earth is gravity, and it is electricity or energy. We sink, just like a rock sinking in the ocean, we sink to the bottom of the ocean of electrical mass surrounding the Earth. Our density compared to the density of space is gravity. The ocean of electrical mass is pushing us down onto the earth. And so we can see that each and every possible electrical unit is visually depictable in regards to this one three-dimensional cube. The Coulomb times the volt is the electricity. Amp times Weber is the electricity flowing over the cube. The Farad is the electricity in one dimension. Coulomb is electricity in two dimensions. The ohm is the resistance. The electrical field is simply the inverse of the farad and the semen is simply the inverse of the ohm and uh, Tesla is another uh, 1 over AZ is equal to mass divided by electricity which gives us the magnetic field This one simple equation, Q A squared Z squared, has revolutionized the field of electrical engineering in giving us a view of electricity that has not been possible before. For further information, please see EinsteinGravity.com.